my name is Camillo Pardo. I'm an automotive designer. I worked for Ford for 24 years. I'm chief designer of the Ford GT, and I'm also a fine artist. When I graduated from high school, I went right into Center for Creative Studies that is now College for Creative Studies. If you study there, you're going to be under the exposure of GM, Chrysler, and Ford because they're, they're from the Motor City, they're from Detroit, and that's where the college is. My best offer at the time, back in 85, was Ford, and I thought it was the best offer is because they were international and I could, I could work in Italy, Germany, and England. Well, I worked hard at making my um, portfolio, so they naturally put me in their advanced design studio that was called the International Studio. Two of us graduated and we went right into a mid-engine project. So a lot, of, a lot of the sketches, a couple of the sketches had um, GT90, but more GT40 feel. Not too futuristic, or not as futuristic, but so that you could read the car as a GT40 evolution. That look came after about maybe six different clay model themes, sketches, then math data, milling them out, full size, um, and that's how a car starts. You know, it scar starts um, very preliminary and, and sometimes rigid, um, and you have to be brave and not be afraid of, you know, making mistakes. Um, when you mill them out and put them in a in a showroom on a turntable and get away from it, then then it's obvious that you need to make adjustments. But if you don't do those, you're never going to get to the final one. It's just like a painting. You have to throw some paint before you get to the, you know, to the highlights. Well, we actually made a a model that was a research model and that was probably well at the time the best clay model I've ever done in my career at Ford it was I mean the team was so focused it was exciting we put functional headlamps in it obviously it had you know wheels and tires that were real and uh, we cast the top so that you could have a see-through because clay is solid, but if you cast the greenhouse where all the glass is, and then you put it back on, you put the, the, the tops of the seats, and we even had a mid-engine in there because the, there was the back glass, and it was only the top part of the mid-engine, we slid it in there like a pizza, you know, and got it out. So it was just the top of the, the supercharger, the, um, the cam covers and the headers. So that was... A, beautiful, beautiful model. And uh, we presented it to the CEO, which was Jack Nasser. I don't know if they like us to, I mean, there's history in history. And it was Jay Mays and Jack Nasser. And I did it old school. I did it old school. I, uh, I had two models in race suits come up with uh, a big car cover and a video and music. You know, why not? It was a, it was a wonderful presentation. I don't think they'll ever forget it. <laughs> 